about meditation. I personally do practice meditation, but <laughs> I've had a bit of a bumpy ride to get here. And I think a lot of people do when they hear that actually meditation is extremely good for our mental and emotional health and our resilience. And they give it a go and they try it. And um, we are all about thinking in meditation that it is about clearing your mind and um, sitting in silence and having this stillness within. <laughs> and I've been practicing for, practicing for a long time now and I can guarantee to you that uh, it is very rare that I have an empty mind while I am meditating. So let's take the complexity of meditation and make it simple for you. Just think about um, a computer. Think about working on your PC and or your laptop. And if you're anything like me, you know, you're sort of flitting about from one place to another. You're working on one thing and then an email comes through and then you have to open this to have a look at that. And before you know it, you've got 20 odd tabs open on your computer. And of course, what does that do? Eventually, if you keep doing that, it'll slow down your whole processing of your computer. Your mind is exactly the same. You know, it has all these tabs open constantly. All of these different worries, all of your concerns, all of your to-do list, uh, all of your emotions, all of your insecurities, they're all different tabs and they're all open most of the time. So what meditation is, is a practice of being still, of just being and allowing those thoughts to come to the surface and to be released. And I think that's the easiest way I can explain a meditation to you in this particular module of presentism. That's the way I see it. Now, there are lots of um, sort of trains of meditation that you can really train in. There's things like transcendental meditation, which I have trained in. Um, but there are all types of different types of meditations. But the meditation that I really want you to practice this during this module, during presentism, is being present. And all you need to do is do a five mad minute practice. So five mad minutes is literally sitting somewhere comfortable. If you can, you know, with your back straight, and not sort of slouched over. So your whole sort of, you're giving some room to your um, your autonomic nervous system to work properly. And um, relax your shoulders and sort of take away any distractions. So any form of um, your phone going off, any notifications. Um, take yourself somewhere where you can be fairly quiet and just sit. Now, if you need to, close your eyes. And if um, if you can't, if you feel uncomfortable closing your eyes, then you can just soften your focus. Find something in the room to place your focus on. And then you can um, just keep your focus on that thing, but just as a soft focus. So take it slightly off, off focus with your eyes. And just sit there and watch what happens inside your head. And I know what will happen for you is you'll go, OK, I'm sitting here. Jules has said I'm just going to sit for five minutes. And as you sit there, you'll be sort of thinking, <laughs> OK, there's a thought coming up and thoughts will start to come up. Thoughts will start to come into your head and you be before you know it, you'll have been taken off some on some thought pattern somewhere and you've completely forgotten that you're just sitting. You've been 
you've been taken off your in your thought process. And when you notice that that's happened, you just bring yourself back to your present moment. Be present. Just be aware where you are. Are you sitting in the chair? Are you where are your hands? Are they in your lap? Are your shoulders relaxed? Is your back straight? Are you present? And when you do that, you can then start again. So you literally let those, let those thoughts go and you start to be present again. And then when another thought comes in, you let that thought go, bring yourself back to the present moment. And every time one of those thoughts comes in or you notice you've gone off on a train of thoughts and you bring yourself back, those thoughts, if any of you are old enough to remember Elvis Presley, they used to say, you know, Elvis has left the building. And those thoughts are like that. Every time you have a thought that comes in during your meditation practice, it's a way of relieving and releasing the stress. It is one of those tabs that are open on your computer being shut down. You've crossed that one off, you've crossed that one off, you've crossed that one off. So that your processing system gets speeded up, gives you more energy and more focus and more clarity. So it's a really, really simple practice. And I call this one just be just be. You don't need to follow any long-winded meditation process for this. All you've got to do is just be and allow whatever thoughts come in to come in and just to let them go and bring yourself back to your present moment in whichever way you feel comfortable doing. So that's a really simple meditation practice for you that you can do for five minutes and you can do it once a day, twice a day, three times a day. It's up to you. And of course, the MAD stands for making a difference. It really will make a difference to your whole emotional and mental state because you are giving yourself and your head some space during your busy day. If you've enjoyed this video, then I would highly recommend you check out the courses that we have available at the moment. On the Big Happiness website, you will find links to any courses that we've got available. Two that I would highly recommend to you are one, um, Hardwiring Happiness. That is a seven day experiment into learning how you can start to hardwire your brain and your nervous system for happiness. It is jam-packed with tools, with techniques, with knowledge, with the science of self. So that's number one. Number two, if you fancy a deeper dive and a much more experiential experience, then I would recommend Boost to you. Now, Boost stands for Biohacks to Optimize and Organize Self-Exploration and Transformation. Basically, it's about helping you to build real resilience um, amid fear and uncertainty. So if you're ready to make sense of your thinking, your behaviours, your negative patterns, uh, those patterns of protection that I like to call them, um, then Boost would be a good place for you to go and uh, explore yourself. So have a look at the links and I hope to see you there.